Hey guys, so before I start this video, I just wanted to let you know that I started a book club discord So if you'd like to join my book club, go ahead and click the link in the description And yeah, we're just gonna talk about books I'm also gonna be doing some monthly giveaways for the book club picks um, starting in August So get ready for that And if you want to know what the book club pick is for July, stay tuned and watch this video <laughs> I just want to apologize if you hear a little noise in the back it's my fan it's so hot in my house right now so if I don't put it on I'm gonna look sweaty and musty and gross so I am so sorry we're gonna have to compromise here hey guys today I'm gonna be doing my monthly recap video so this is basically my June wrap-up my July TBR and a couple of books that I have hauled since my last haul today is July 1st I'm very excited to embark on this new month because I don't have summer classes however I did just start a new job so I have two jobs now but I think I'm gonna get started with the haul first because some of these books I am planning on reading this month and I don't want to spoil the haul if I do it last so the first book I got is from the Amazon bookstore and it is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose I saw this on TikTok and I saw that Melissa Dimmer was reading this and it sounded really interesting I love murder mysteries so I picked this one up it's about a married couple and the husband is cheating on the wife with another woman and then they go off to like some sort of log house log house cabin some sort of secluded vacation home and the woman ends up being murdered the wife ends up being the lawyer for her husband because she is a defense attorney 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 oh my gosh the next two books i got from target and if you didn't know target price matches to their website and a lot of the times their website has amazon prices i got good girl bad blood for like 12 dollars i told myself that i wasn't gonna buy this one but if you saw my last video yes i did buy it this is the sequel to a good girl's guide to murder and i know that the third book is coming out in september which is really exciting because i absolutely love the first one flew through it so quickly read it in less than 24 hours so i will be reading this one soon hopefully during a 24 hour readathon we'll see hopefully it's just as fast paced as the first one so that you know i really won't want to put it down um and if i do do a 24 hour readathon I will definitely do some reading sprints during the readathon just to keep me motivated. Moving on, the next book is Circe by Madeline Miller. Um, I wasn't planning on reading this, but I don't know, like, I heard the Song of Achilles is just so good, and I found this for $9. So, I mean, was it an impulse buy? Maybe. Does it sound really interesting? Yes. Circe is about, obviously, Circe, and I love Greek mythology. I fell in love with the Percy Jackson series when I was a kid, um, so I thought that this could be, like, my adult version. I think Circe shows up in the Sea of Monsters, right? The last store that I bought books from is Barnes & Noble, and the first one is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. I wasn't planning on buying this one this soon because I wanted to read it during like the fall time but I saw that it was signed and I couldn't not get it. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know much about it but I just know that it's about someone who doesn't believe in love anymore and then she's trying to find herself and she learns how to love again. And they're dancers, obviously. The next book is called Blackout. It's by Danielle Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. So I have two Nicola Yoon books. Um, but this one sounded so interesting because um, it takes place in New York City, which is one of my favorite cities ever. I think there's more than one love story in here. But it's love stories with black main characters and it takes place over a blackout. The tagline is even love stories can glow when the lights go. And that sounded so interesting to me. And look how pretty it is with no dust jacket on. 
like look how gorgeous and these last two books I actually got today at the bookstore the first one is punk 57 by penelope douglas i was surprised at how cheap this was it was only 11.69 including my member discount i know it's about like pen pals and they really like each other um through letters and stuff but then when they actually meet each other they hate each other this is my first penelope douglas book everyone loves her i do want to read birthday girl too because everyone loves that one as well so i'm planning on reading that one not necessarily soon probably when i finish more of these books on my bookshelves and the last book that i got is an agatha christie book which i'm so excited about um not like i have enough of hers to read already but it's the man in the brown suit and i do want to get through her i just blew a bubble with my spit what the heck anyway i do want to get through her whole collection her whole library all of her works um i do want to read everything that she's ever written because she's just such a great author and i do love the style of these covers like they're so pretty i know i said i was going to try to read at least one classic every month for now i'm going to try to get through my agatha christie collection and then i'll probably start reading other things now on to the wrap-up portion of this video i'm going to tell you all of the books that i read in the month of june and what i thought of them i read four books this month not my best reading month honestly because i've been so busy with school june was insane but we're back and we're better honestly four is a lot for how much work i had on my plate i'm pretty proud of myself i read like four and a half i was able to get a little through another book i'll go in chronological order the first book i read was Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. I listened to this one on audiobook. I ended up giving this one three and a half stars. It was a great story. It was definitely a coming of age story and very interesting. I love the love story and the whole like dating a celebrity trope that was so cute and like the sneaking around and stuff. The ending was kind of unsatisfying to me so that's why I ended up giving it a three and a half but other than that it was good. The audiobook however like the quality of it was not good. Good. I listened to it on Libby and at times the volume would just randomly go up and then it would get really quiet like the narrator would just start shouting and get super loud they couldn't I don't know why they didn't like equalize the volume or whatever but it kind of hurt my ears but other than that it was a wild ride I almost gave up on it a couple of times not gonna lie but then I just pushed through and it's okay it was okay the next book i read was a heart so fierce and broken by bridget kemmerer um i definitely enjoyed this book i liked it way better than the first one just because i got to read from gray's point of view and gray was my favorite character i also fell in love with liamara she's an amazing character and i'm so proud of her and just her decisions and her character growth throughout the book um i'm not going to be reading the third book um i explained why in my last video i rated this one a four and a half out of five stars just because i don't know i felt like it was missing something i can't quite put my finger on it it's definitely not a favorite it was really good but it's not a favorite so that's why i didn't give it five the third book i read was the lost apothecary by sarah penner this was the june book club pick for melissa dimmer's book club on discord um we're having a lot of fun there i haven't really been participating in the discussions about the books of the month um recently just because i've been busy but i absolutely adored this book i know this book has a lot of mixed opinions but i absolutely loved it the audiobook was phenomenal the voice actors were amazing i'm kind of disappointed at what caroline decided to do at the end it was like dramatic and stuff like that but i was like why would you do that i get why she did it but at the same time like it was kind of annoying she was trying to be dramatic and she didn't need to be but i'm very glad that i decided to pick up the audiobook i listened on libby by the way oh my God, no 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 sorry spider i'm sorry <laughs> this one is so dramatic i rated this one five stars i really enjoyed it i highly recommend the audiobook if you do want to pick this up and the last book i was able to completely read this month was the score by l kennedy i actually finished this one last night just in time for the month to end this one's definitely my second favorite so far um it goes the deal 
then the score, then the mistake. I loved Dean's relationship with the Hurricanes. Oh my god. I don't want to spoil anyone for anything, but oh my gosh, it was so cute how protective he was of her. And lastly, I read two other books but didn't get through them. The first one is Paris is Always a Good Idea by Jen McKinley. I'm currently listening to this on audiobook and I'm on page 130 and the next book that I read a little bit from was A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I got up to chapter 2 of The Postman. I'm on page 178 and I'm loving it so far. It's starting to get sad though. Like I'm I there were some things that were like I've, I've felt so bad for Jude, but then I know that it's gonna get worse. I'm gonna try to read it every time I do sprints just so I can sit down and read it and just really take it in because it's not one of those books where I just want to casually read. It's one of those that I want to sit down, highlight, mark up, and really like get as much out of it as I can. My TBR for this month is honestly really really long. The first book I want to read is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I want to read this one for Melissa's book club. Again, this is the July pick. Everyone knows what this is about. It's about Patroclus and Achilles and their relationship and apparently it's sad and I'm gonna cry so kind of excited, kind of scared. We'll see how things go. Now I'm going to go into the mystery or thriller books that I want to read. The first is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I want to read this because it's one of her most popular ones that actually got turned into a movie. And it's really short. It's only 240 something pages. The next one is The Perfect Marriage. I already explained this book so I'm not really going to go into it again. And then The Kind Ruth Killing by Peter Swanson. I'm actually planning on reading this one while I'm on the plane to Connecticut. I'm going to Connecticut this month month for a performing arts national competition so I'm planning on reading it on the plane I have the audiobook and I have the physical book hopefully I can finish it on the plane the audiobook is somewhere between like 10 and 11 hours I read on two times speed so I'll finish it in like five five and a half ish hours hopefully I don't get creeped out because I'm gonna be on a plane when I read this sorry my memory card ran out of space okay let's continue the next book I want to read is Verity by Colleen Hoover. This one is about an author who decides to finish the series of another author named Verity. Hopefully I like it. A lot of people do. It's definitely a TikTok book. We'll see. Then I also want to read The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. I've been so excited for it to come out and when it was on Book of the Month, I snatched it so fast. I don't know what this one is about, honestly. I just know it's like a dark academic, academic, academia type of vibe and then the last mystery thriller book i want to read is the last thing he told me by laura dave this one's not that much of a priority but it's definitely a want to read for this month technically this one is also a mystery thriller um but it's pride and premeditation by tizar tiz oh my gosh terza price i have the audiobook for this one as well and it's basically like if pride and prejudice was a mystery novel. The only fiction kind of drama book that I'm going to be reading is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Again, I hauled this one before so you probably already know what it's about if you've seen my video. This is also a pretty popular author, pretty popular book. She's the author of The Vanishing Half. Yeah, The Vanishing Half. I also have the audiobook for this one. And these last books are all romances. I'm kind of excited because summer is the time for romance. And also so I started a book club discord and our first book for July is Beach Read by Emily Henry. So if you haven't read this book or even if you have and you just want to talk about it, the link is in the description if you want to join. And yeah, I'm so excited to read Beach Read. I've been wanting to get to it for a while and Emily Henry is a very popular author. I think her book the People We Meet on Vacation just came out last month or the month before. Super excited for that one too. I just want to read this one first and see if I like her writing style. This one is about two authors who write completely different things. They're completely different people and they both end up getting writer's block and challenge each other to write each other's genres. The next one I want to read is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This also sounds like a very summery book. Um, it's like an enemies to lovers type of romance and it falls 
follows two people who have to go on a honeymoon together even though they're not married they actually hate each other but they have to take the place of a bride and groom because they got food poisoning the next two books are colleen hoover books the first one is confess this one is about an artist i don't know much else about it the next one is layla i talked about this in my last book haul i kind of don't want to be repetitive so i'm not going to say what it's about again then i also want to read the goal which is the sequel to the score and the fourth book in the off-campus series i know that l kennedy is coming out with a new one in september and i'm so excited and then lastly i want to read a thousand boy kisses by tilly cole everyone raves about this one i'm going to be doing a reading vlog for this so stay tuned for that those are all the books that i'm planning on reading this month who knows if i'll actually get to them all but yeah i will see you guys in my next video we'll see if i can finish these okay love you guys bye